open up your app store and you are going to type in pro knockout you will choose a cup paste photos and i already have the app so i am just going to open it if you do not have it you can go ahead and download it exit out of all pop-up ads click on photo edit and this is going to take you to your photo gallery Go ahead and choose a photo. I am choosing my student's dragon eye, which is absolutely beautiful. Now we can scroll at the bottom and choose an editing tool. Let's play around with the mirror editing tool. And again, you can scroll at the bottom and you can choose how you would like to edit your photo. Try a bunch of them out, see which one you like. Once you decide on the one you like, click on that bottom check button. This will save it so that you can continue editing. Now let's try Kaleidoscope. This one's a lot of fun. Again, I encourage you to try different ones. If you click on perspective and you move this little button around, you can see how it will change the perspective of your image. And it is really cool. You can use any of those little white dots with your finger to move and manipulate to create a different perspective. Click that little check button to save the work that you have edited. Let's try one more. We are going to try the filter editing tool. And again, I encourage you to move them around and try different filters to see which one you like. Decide which one you like and then make sure to click that bottom right check button one more time to save your photo. And the top right save button to save to your camera roll. Hit the save button and then OK. Now that your photo has been edited and saved to your camera roll, now we can continue working on the same photo or a different photo to try some new and different tools. Let's try the effect tool. And this one has a different filters that you can use. I really love that turquoise one I just saw. I think I might stick to that one and save that one. So now I'm just going to scroll through the bottom editing tool some more and maybe use the mirror effect again to try and give me a different composition, a different design with this really beautiful turquoise image. And if I'm done editing this one, then I will click the top right button to save it to my camera roll. Hit save one more time and OK. Click the top left arrow to go back to your picture and click it one more time and you can discard it because it is saved. Now we will use the edit and compose feature. Go ahead and click on it. This will take you to your camera roll. Here you will see your three saved images. I want you to pick an image of yourself or another person. Click the check mark to say that that's what you want. And now you're going to trace your finger around the figure and it will automatically remove the background around the figure. If it removes too much like it did for me here, it removed my sunglasses, I could use the restore feature again using my finger to go in and restore with that little blue dot. This will show you what you are left with and again if you have something left over in the background, you can then use the eraser tool to erase whatever is in the background that you still need to remove. Again, you can even change the size of the dot. So go around and remove any of the background that you would like to edit out of your picture. Click next in the top right corner, and now we can edit the background and the foreground. Go ahead and click on photos, and it will take you now to choose a background. Choose one of the background photos that you edited, and immediately it creates a background for you. If you click on foreground, you can change the placement of your figure. You can change the rotation of it. You can change the size and you can decide where you want your figure on your composition. And again, you can use the editing tools at the bottom to either edit your foreground figure picture, or if you click on background, you can edit the background picture. Let's scroll through the bottom and see what we can do to our background image. If you scroll through, you can change the opacity of it, how transparent it is. You can make it really light and see-through, 
or make it more saturated with the colors. Save it when you have finished and it will be saved to your camera roll. Remove the ad, click save, and click OK. If you swipe out of your app, you should be able to go into your photos and see all of the photos that you have now edited. I thought I'd play around with one more background with my figure moving it around and changing the transparency of the background and the color. So we started out with this and this, and we created all of this. <laughs> 